Hey Stampers, Gainer again, and I'm coming back with a little uh, gift box. Now I made these a while back, well not last year, the year before, maybe even the year before that as well, for Advent, uh, my Advent calendar, because I did the kids 3D Advents, but I just thought I'd make one on its own and decorate it with this cute little bow. I mean, you can untie it, it will just slide through. Uh, but now I've just got to tie it as normal now as a bow because I've I've already uh, added my embellishment. But I just wanted to show that you get it on and off. So maybe nice little bow on the side with longer tails this time. But I oh look at that I made a pig's ear of that one. So maybe I will and it opens up on the top and on the bottom so whichever way you say you did your advent and you had it with your numbers on so you could open it from the front you could then refill it from the back I like that and not only that they store flat for storage as well so but yeah I like I say I used I made mine for my advent but now I'm gonna I'm gonna decorate I've got this is the top and this is the bottom so my North Pole there and I might not do the Christmas theme one this one I'm, I'm gonna be using the paper and some gold foil it can be now that to me can be Christmas or any time so I'm gonna have stripes around the side and my stars at the top and at the bottom uh, I mean it's a giveaway with candy canes but you don't have to add these if you don't want to I was just gonna maybe place a couple round the sides and then decorate and just take the knot out of here but yeah oh flipping heck I made this Ooh. oh I can't remember must be be uh, four years ago now when I first made it an advent cool might be longer than that even look at me struggling oh look, yeah look at me struggling with my bow now I mean my lid there we go just pop it out Okay, we'll put the bow on that later. <laughs> I have got some more ribbon here. So, uh, that was off a kit, off a card kit that was as well. But here we go. You can get one box per sheet of A4. This is eight and a half by seven. And you're gonna need to score. On the eight and a half inch side, There it is. You're going to score this at two, four, six, and eight. It's that simple. And then turn to the side. Again, just forgot what she's doing. Uh, half an inch. And then two and a half. Four and a half. And six and a half. That's how simple that is. Do, 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 do. So where you've got the half inch at the bottom, I'm not going to use those scissors, they're too small. You're going to, just a, a subtle little mitre either side and then remove these strips. Because that's is going to attach to your box. Everybody likes a little gift box anyway, don't they? But they're especially perfect, the perfect size, two inch by two inch by two inch for your advent as well. So, right, this one, we're going to cut up. Just 
of these scissors are terrible. You're going to cut out your first one, your second, you're going to cut up a mitre. Only a small mitre. And then you're going to take this down to about, like about three quarters of an inch off. And the same with the end one. Mitre to the corner. Mitre off the end. Take about three quarters off. And this one, you're just going to remove that all together. And then you're going to flip it over and do exactly the same on this side. Yeah, I haven't made the kids uh, advents this year because they've still got the ones from two years ago. Amy puts them up every year. And I had lights put on there, going all the way around, remember them? Frankie's name, Lola's name on the tops of the, in the big letters sticking out. And yeah, they, she pulls them out every year now. I'm just going to mite that one straight into that corner. Whoops, no, not the corners there. And you know, if you get these little fuzzy ends, I'll show you what to do with those in a minute. I'm just going to pull that off and show you. And again, and then this. Just move it out of the way. There we go, you've got exactly the same. So get rid of the white bits now. Into the bin. Um, and now I burnish. So I like to do my burnishing after I've done all my cutting. And now, you know when you look over, if you get any little bits sticking out, now's the time to cut them off. I'll show you now with this one because I can see it on that side. See how this is not level here because I haven't taken it all the way down to the, to the score line. Now you can straighten it up and you bend. Now see these little bits that stick out? You can adjust them if you if needs be with little scissors. I don't think that's too bad actually at the moment. So this is the bit we're going to put tape on, this little flap here. And this is half an inch. So I know it's going to fit. Perfect. Any overhang? Don't worry, you can just flick it through. So I can see a little boo boo there. See them? You get a little tiny boo boobs. Before you close your box up, just snip it straight. And then check that one. Because you might not have come to the actual corner properly. So snip them off before, like now that one there. Tidy up your boo boobs, as I say. Um, we need a corner rounder, and we're going to round our corners off. Cute. So you can even test your box. Up. 
just in case you need to cut any more off. So that's going to be our cute little box. Let's get that paper off. I mean, this little box doesn't even take one sheet of uh, designer series paper. The six by six, it takes like a two inch strip and a two, well, one and seven eighths strip and a one and seven eighths strip. So I'll just tuck that. Make sure that's nice and flat. See, if you haven't mitered enough, you can always go back in and mitre a little bit more. So when you close it, you've got that gap for your little flap to tuck down. And there you get the perfect little, little tiny box. So cute. Right, I mean, you could decorate this now as it, in a box shape, just go around adding your paper. Or if you want, I'm gonna do it like this this time. In our fold flat situation. So you can fold it either way. And you can add your paper. So I want my stripes going upwards this time and I've just cut six at one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths, giving me that tiny little border all the way around. And I like to use glue. Are we having stripes going up or stripes going around the side? Let's have stripes going around the side. Perfect. Use it out again. Do, do, do. Cute. And then I'm having stars on the top and the bottom. Yeah, if you make an advent calendar like I did for Lola and Frankie, if you go back and check advent calendar, a 3D advent calendar, and then you can see, instead of pulling down the fronts of the boxes all the time, you can go in from the back and add, and you get overzealous kids that want an extra treat. And go in and sneak an extra sweet. You can go in the back end then and add some more sweeties. <laughs> That's just so cute. So adorable. You can put little um, thumb pair in there now if you want to. So this is the top. So if you were doing an advent, we use what you could have it coming down like that. So you can fill, or you could have it opening up. But I find when you're doing an advent, if you, uh, I like to pull it down. So you could decide which side you want as your front and back, and put a little thumb notch in. But ours is going to be turned into a little gift box. instead yeah I think I will release this just before Christmas so you can I just didn't want to make another advent calendar when the kids are already using their old ones that I made from a couple of years back and you just do a pyramid shape then if you were doing or I did them in the shape of a Christmas tree with lights all around the outside you know the little fairy lights that you can get? Glow is oozing out of there. So now I'm getting covered. Right, so I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, let's do a Christmas one. I've got this gorgeous, beautiful, and it's from this set. You can make tags, you can cut the deer out. It, they're called the North Pole Wonder Dive. So I've just grabbed to get a gold foil. I 
the gold matches the paper. Cut this out. It's so cute. And then, oh look at this. It is gooey everywhere. I think the bottom needs to be tightened up or topped up. Perfect. And that cuts out with a one and a half inch circle punch. Like to keep it clean as we go. And the sentiment is from there as well. It's that one there. I mean, that's a, probably a one and a half in circle, yeah, but uh, I'd sooner use a punch, it's quicker. Which is here. And that pops out beautiful. And I'm gonna add dimensionals on there and dimensionals. on the back perfect when I can get the papers off And keep that in the center yes oh look I'm lucky enough to have done it either side thankfully because now I tied my ribbon on that way go under crisscross I like to try and keep it as flat as possible and then toss it back over tie a little bow on there it's, fit, it's all so fiddly when you, you're just one person on your own I don't think my reverse tweezers would work up here oh I don't know maybe they would No success with these bows today. Wow, so let's try again. That's got it, that's got it that time. And then you just get a little bump there, but. And because I know this is top and bottom, I am going to choose to put that on there, either side. So that's how I was able to untie this one, but I could just slide that back down there. There it is. But I've got it the wrong way round, so it doesn't really make any odds, does it? Otherwise, my bow would be at the bottom now. Let's do it that way. There we are. That's better. So, half and half. bottom that's got that way 
and then flip it over. Woohoo! It's bloody arthritis in my hands. That's what it is. Give me a jip. Old age doesn't come alone. Yeah, oh well. I've tied it so, so. But there you go. How cute is that little box? That with a nice, it would fit perfect. Uh, um, an engagement ring in there. Maybe a little necklace. But perfect as a little gift box. So cute. And if you wanted to, like I added the candy canes on top, maybe you could add one if it was a gift, Christmas gift. I'm going to put one on either side because they're from the Most Wonderful Time kit. Um, the paper's from that, the Most Wonderful Time uh, product medley suite. And then let's see if that little deal will fit on the back. Yeah. So I thought I'd have some of the stickers as well. How cute! So, and like same sweet as got these beautiful stars. I did not add any on my first box. More's the pity. I'm just going to pop one right there in the centre of the North Pole sign. Add extra bling. So there they are. There's those cute little gift boxes with all those gorgeous little decorations. The ribbon. You don't have to put too much ribbon on like that if you don't want to. That was just what was what was spare in my stash of things, but aren't they cute? That one's not tied properly, but it is cute. I'm persevering, girls. I'm persevering. Let's see if my arthritic hands will let me tie a proper bow. No. A little bow yay we got there in the end <laughs> but there we have it my cute little the boxes that I made for my advent calendar all those many moons ago turned into a little gift box just for you oh shavings look at this I'm losing more glue than I'm, than I'm using oh my goodness if that happens it's because you've pulled the pin out too quick just oh I can't undo it just put, either put the lid back in or I think it needs topping up that's what it is there we go there is another cute little project which I would love a thumbs up and a share that'd be great I'll put them back so you can see them so that is the t that how it should stand but that's what it's like when it's laid out I love the stars and stripes I love the little candy canes as well and the stripes. I'm just got a thing for stars and stripes. <laughs> Maybe I should have been American. <laughs> yeah, love, 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 love when I can get you in. A thumbs up and a share. That'd be amazing. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to press the subscribe along with the bell. I do, um, I post four times a week now. Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays and Sundays. So come back and see what I make on those days. Bye for now.